My test, my test. What is up, everybody? It's all real here. Welcome to another EDS Play uploading schedule for the week of March 6th. Actually, March. Yeah, it's March 6th right now. March 11th. Um, we'll make this quick. It's kind of late, so I just want to get this out the way. Uh, as you guys know, I've been working very hard this past week. Um, taking care of some things. Also, you know, making new purchases, which I'm gonna explain a little bit more of uh, in this video, as well as games. Of course, you know, we always got games. So, first and foremost, uh, I began, uh, well, I guess I'll start right here. Um, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk, uh, this past week, and you know, I ran into a couple trouble, troubling things as you guys can see here. Um, you know, I, I got a copyright, uh, uh, ID from, um, from YouTube, and, uh, you know, I had to, um, be careful. I actually lost my live stream privileges on YouTube for, for however long. I don't really know. I think it's like 90 days it could be shorter because i no longer have like the copyrighted video right here i took it down and i re-uploaded it with edits um and it shows like a chunk of like a cutscene missing for that very reason so i'm not going to be live streaming on youtube so therefore i'm going back to my twitch uh i did the training story and trials for colleen and street fighter 5 that's up um, so you guys check that out. I uh, beat the Umibuzu, Umibozu, or Umi, yeah, I gotta check that. I gotta change that name. Uh, and Nio or Neo, I still don't know how the hell that's pronounced. But yeah, um, finally beat that. I did quite a few uploads for taste tests. So you guys check those out. I, I tried the sandwich from Jimmy John's. Uh, I got a free item from Trader Joe's. Um, Earlier this, well, actually, it was before Mark, uh, I think it was back in February, and I just uploaded the video today, so forgive me for that. And I also tried Duck for the first time, so that's an interesting video as well. So, check, you know, there's a lot of content for you guys to check out, and this week isn't going to be any different. If, if anything, there's going to be more content uh, this week than, than last week, you know, due to me working so much, but. Uh, this week, we, actually tomorrow, Nier Automata comes out, and I will be receiving that from Gamefly. Um, I'm hesitant on Ghost Recon Wildland. Here's the thing. When it comes to a lot of Tom Clancy games, or even, you know, pretty much any shooter style game, it seems like there's always, like, some copyright BS looming over when you, whenever you want to play, like, the story mode or something. It's like those games are like so entrenched with the multiplayer is that if you even try to play, um, if you even try to play like the story mode on YouTube or anything like that, you're gonna get a you're gonna get hit with a bunch of copyrights and things like that. So I'm cautious when it comes to games like that. It's not that I don't want to play it. It's just that I'm hesitant to play it because I know the, what's going to come after. I, you know what I mean? I mean, the same thing happened to me when I played uh, the, the um, Call of Duty. Uh, it was Call of Duty 3. I played that story mode and I ran into a bunch of bunch of nonsense and I just deleted all the story mode videos I had on there and I never bothered with Call of Duty game after that, you know, I play it for the story mode, not necessary, even though it thrives on the multiplayer, I was interested in seeing what the story mode was going to be, because I was curious as to why nobody really played the story mode on YouTube, and now I understand, and it's going to be the same thing with Ghost Recon, so I'm hesitant to play games like that, um, where the multiplayer is so focused in, you know, like within the community that plays those style of games, that the moment that you play story mode, it's like, you know, YouTube is so quick to hit the copyright button or the computer algorithm on, you know, within YouTube's uh, company 
it's so quick to hit the copyright button on that that you know it it, it kind of makes you not even want to buy it, especially if you're interested. Even though it's focused on the multiplayer, if you're interested in playing the story mode, you can't live stream it or anything like that. So it's one of those things that just makes you hesitant. So I just may focus on Nier or Automata and just focus on the rest of the games that I have. Um, from my last uploading schedule, you guys may have noticed that I did have uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and I did buy that game. I bought it. I didn't rent it. I bought it because I think there's going to be DLC coming up uh, after that. So most definitely I'm keeping my eyes open for that. Uh, but I, I will start that um, game this week. And again, I'm going to be live streaming on my Twitch, but I'm, I'm going to be recording videos to my program, uh, uploading them to um, YouTube after I'm done. Hopefully, I don't run into any more copyright BS. Um, I plan on finishing Tales of Assyria this week, so you guys get ready for that because I do feel like it's time for me to beat that game. Um, and that's uh, and Nio, I'm still like. Struggling trying to beat that, but you know, it is what it is. That Umi Bozu kind of took it out of me. So I'm kind of hesitant to, to j jump right back in. Plus, there's other games I haven't played in a while, the games I haven't even started yet. So, um, yeah, man, that's everything that's been happening this week as far as games go. Um, now, here's the thing as you guys know, I have been clamoring to get a new laptop for quite some time uh, this week well not this week but before this month is over if everything goes correctly I will have a new laptop here's why I say it's an if instead of a definite um, possibility um, I was at Best Buy you know amongst other things that I, I purchased you know I, I got a 4K TV um it was a 50 inch 4K TV, you know, it was pretty, uh, it was relatively cheap because, you know, the company that made it didn't really focus on the design of the TV and that kind of reduced the cost a little bit. Like, it was only like $329 and I was like, fuck it, it's a 4K TV. I kind of need me one because, well, one, I, I just needed a bigger TV because the one I have for my room is like way too small. I kind of got to squint my eyes at times just to like look at certain things on it. You know, sitting far. I mean, even though, I, and, oh, and another thing, I did buy the PlayStation camera finally. Um, so you guys can uh, expect to see playthroughs with me in the camera uh, pretty soon. Um, I'm trying to find a way that I can use it to like do these channel, do these channel updates. Um, I think it works on the laptop as well. I've never tried it, but most definitely I'm gonna end up trying it. Um, Thing, but I think I need like an adapter because the, the USB that's on it is different than what we have right here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out a way. I'm gonna figure out a way. But yeah, that's um that's later down the line. But uh yeah, this um I finally you know bought a 50 or 4K TV um. It was just like too good for me to pass up, and with the PlayStation Pro coming out and all that, I may end up switching to one of those systems, um, upgraded system. So, yeah, I seen 4K while I was in Best Buy, and man, I thought it was all BS. That is no joke. That is crisp, clear television, you know. So, I most definitely uh, wanted to get it. Plus, it's a tax write off, so oh well. Um, I did buy Zero Horizon. Oh, that's right, laptop. So, as I was making these purchases and getting a, you know a couple other things, um, I seen a laptop there. It was a, a, a four, It was the same size as this one. It was a seventeen point three inch, but it had you know a nice uh, you know a good graphics card for today's you know gaming. Um, it had you know the like one terabyte of RAM, um, or like space. Uh, I think the gigs on it was like 200 plus. I'm not exactly sure how many. I think it was 250, or maybe even more than that. But the price on it was uh, 1,119. 
So I asked them how much will it, you know, like, how, like I asked them to sign up for a Best Buy credit card, which I can make the purchase, and then I would be able to, um, you know, make payments over time to pay the credit card off, which is good for me because I'm actually, you know, looking to raise my credit score, and that just may help anyway. Um, so I've been paying off debts here and there, and my credit score has been, been going up. So hopefully by the end of this year, I can get my credit score back in the 600s, which is, which is near. It's near the 700, uh, actually near the, um, get my credit score back up to the 700s, which it's near the 700s right now. So, uh, I'm doing good right now for myself. Paid off school debts and all that other nonsense. Um, but yeah, so right now they said that they have, that I have to wait and hear a response within the next 30 days. Mind you, this was like last week, so um, I did the, um, after they signed me up, they told me I had to wait to hear a response within the next 30 days from Citibank, because that's who they work closely with. Um, you know, what they do is that, you know, if they approve you, then you get a Best Buy credit card, and you can only make purchases with that credit card at Best Buy, which is good for me, because ju I just need enough to get the laptop. You know, I got to you know, a good paying job, you know, um, and I can make those payments, you know, throughout the year, that's 1200 going to be paid off in no time for me, so I'm just, you know, I'm just looking to uh, get that paid off, well, so I, I'm just looking to get that laptop, because at this point, I just really need one, this one is dying on me, it's literally dying, it's hard to take apart, I can't even get it cleaned out, the, um, get all the, all the dust that's kicked up in there. I might be able to get out a little bit just by blowing it, but that's just, you know, like I need to be able to take the hard drive plate off. It's, it's like clamored in there. Like I can't get it off. So at this point, I need a new one anyway. This one is like nearly 10 years old and it's just not holding up anymore. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully everything goes well with it. Um, you know, the, uh, the ADS play, um, at the chance for a successful dream, uh, GoFundMe campaign is still underway. Um, I'm still, you know, like the donations are still help for me to get all the equipment that I need and such. So again, you guys click on that, and, you know, yeah, just hope for that. <laughs> yeah, other than that, man, um, I'm looking forward to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I've been having the game for a couple of days now. It's just I'm just ready to play it. So, expect to see um, videos of that game being uploaded this week, and the conclusion of Tales of Berseria, um, as well as more Berserk. But I'm trying to tread carefully with Berserk because I don't want to end up having any more copyright. So, if I end up playing that game, more than likely what is, what's going to happen is that I end up. Uh, Playing it through the PlayStation 4. You know, the PlayStation 4 has uh, like live stream capabilities. I may end up playing it through the PlayStation 4. That way, it, like, it automatically blocks out any scenes that would be a risk for copyright. You know, a lot of you guys may not like that, but, you know, it's, it's, it's the safest way to go for the sake of me not having to deal with any more copyright. So, that'll be it. So, thank you guys for listening. Peace, and I'll see you guys this week for gameplay.